Good morning, everyone. Emily here. Happy Monday. Today is January 14th, and it is nearly... Sally, what do you want, buddy? Sally, I'm not going in the other room right now. No, I'm sorry, buddy. Um, it's nearly 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I'm just getting my day started. And normally, well, the past couple of days, normally I'd grab my journal first and start writing and stuff. But I think what I want to do today is to use my pedal machine and start pedaling. Um, because sometimes I feel when I, like, move in whatever way that may be, it makes me feel better, and then, even though I'm st I still have the feelings that I'm gonna journal about, it'll give me time to think of what I want to say and be more like, you know, precise about it. Um, and then, basically, the plan is just to hang out and take care of the dogs and just do what I gotta do. Um, I have another thing coming in from the fry live today. Fry like french fry. <laughs> That's how I remember it. Um, and it's a gratitude t-shirt and it literally could not have come at a better time. So thank you Mary and Peter. Um, I ordered two things as you saw but they it came in like separate weird shipments or whatever. So I was like yes thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get my day started, and we will talk to you in a little bit. See you soon. So the transformation to this thing is like completely 180. Um, I recently organized a lot of stuff, and I just want to take you through it really quickly. Um, Things change, seasons change, life changes. So basically I'm just redoing this so it works better for me. Um, and we're starting on the bottom. I have my print, oh my stupid big fat finger. My printer is right there. Um, I used the printer a ton, a ton, a ton couple months ago, even a year ago, but now we don't really use it at all. And if we use it, it's easy just to pull out. Um, actually, it used to be on the middle shelf, but then when we got Hope, um, we had to move it to the top because her and her little puppy antics, she would steal paper right off the printer, like, like it would be printing. And the minute it comes out of that little thing, she would steal it and take it. Um, we used it a lot to do things for my sister's wedding, but now that that's over, like we can kind of organize ourselves a little bit better. So that's that. And I have a power strip I've had for years, years and years and years. Um, that's been there for forever, but we just used it in a new way. Um, it's got the printer cord on it, it's got the lamp on it, and it's got my computer charger. Um, and basically what we did, if you remember from like the old video, even like a week ago, go back and look, um, we used to wrap the cord around the lamp and bend the lamp down because there's two lamps so that one moves. Um, so I can reach it, but then I kept getting my wheelchair stuck in it, and then I kept, like, dropping it, and then it just wasn't working. And so I'm just like, okay, we need a better solution. But luckily, my mom had these, um, had these, um, command hook, uh, strips lying around. So basically... This is just like command hooked to um, this and then it's rolled and then it's coiled for when I need it. Um, 
and it's all in one spot so I can find it. And then <coughs> we move to this. Um, this is not mine, this is my mom's, but we slowly are finding ways to put things. Um, this is pretty much just holding stuff until I can go through it. Um, it's got my med bag, it's got a box with stuff in it, it's got my grabber um, for when I drop things and I can't reach them, which is one of the things I'm hoping to teach Hope in the next couple of months because that will be very, very convenient and helpful. Um, it's got my backpack, it's got my treat pouch, it's got all sorts of things. So that's that. That's stuff that I use, but I don't really use all that often. Um, and so obviously the med bag I use every day, but like I can easily reach that. So yeah, that's why it's at the front. Um, and then moving down to this shelf. Now this shelf is my pride and joy because I wanted a treat stash so badly and I was going to put it in my closet, but then I realized I spend most of my time in the TV room, the kitchen, this front room, and the dining room, like this whole area. So I wanted something that I can reach. Um, now you may be thinking, well, why the heck would you put all these treats and stuff here? Um, your dog is the same height as this. We've seen it. Yes, it is. But this is also teaching her boundaries. This is teaching her to listen to me better. This is teaching her a routine. This is teaching her structure, which every dog needs. So let's go into what's in each drawer. Um, hold on. So, first, actually, we should do this this way. First, um, we should go with what's on the top. Um, this is, this is, um, hold on. This is a... A uh, bucket of beef, I think it's either beef jerky or chicken chicken jerky, one of the proteins. Um, and this, you may be wondering, like, why is it so small and why is it in a bucket and not in, like, a bag or something? Um, well, it comes in a very big 32-ounce, um, like, packaging bag, and that's just way too big. Um, and also, jerky is something that is very, 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 very high value to Hope. Um, she will literally probably do anything for jerky. So, to keep it small is to not, is to keep that high value. Like, you keep, you have a little, a little treat and then, okay, switch it up. And then a little treat and then switch it up. Like, that's for big things, um, basically. And so that's that. And plus, keeping it small is, these are pretty expensive. I wouldn't say they're the most expensive ones, but they're not the cheapest ones either. So it's it saves um, some money. And keeping it in one of these just keeps them fresh. So that's that. Again, boundaries, that which is good for her. And then we've got just some other stuff. Hold on, let me move that part out of the way. Right, right now I only have two bags of treats in here. I have two more bags in my old room that I need to get out and bring here, but I just haven't had the second. So right now we just have these, um, Wellness, soft bites, uh, whole fruits and veggies, um, moist and meaty. I hate that word, moist. Um, 
uh, t t beef and, oh, sorry, beef and turkey recipe. Um, I like the wellness brand because, um, yes, dogs should have hard treats also, but um, wellness is very easy for me to break um, apart with my fine motor skills. And um, I have other dogs in the house too, and they're a little bit older than Hope is, so their teeth are a little more sensitive, so they like soft treats as well. So this is a great treat that they all can share. By the way, they all share all of these, but m mostly Hope is the first one. Actually, it's funny. They would all do anything for jerky. So that's that. And then these I just have because I wanted to do an experiment. Um, these are a freeze-dried chicken liver treat because um, someone I follow on Instagram, um, her name is Libby Rockaway. She runs the page called Libby's Loving Leashes on Instagram, and she has been really, really helpful um, just with different sorts of things, different values of treats and stuff. And she said that she likes to use liver treats, so I wanted to give it an experiment and give it a try. The dogs like these, but I'm not sure if I would purchase them again. Um, but we'll see. That could change, like, in, a, in an instant, too. Um, but originally, they came in a, a tub. Also, I got these at Target, by the way, but they do sell them on Chewy. Um, but... Hope, being a puppy, again, she stole, before this was all organized like this, she stole the cap to the lid, and I got it away from her, thankfully, but couldn't use it, and I wanted to keep them fresh, so I just put them in a Ziploc bag. So, that's that. And then... Hold on, I have to be really careful with this next drawer, so I'm not gonna open it, open it, but I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna talk about what's in the next drawer, and then we will go from there. So I have to be really careful with the next drawer because it's like um, medications and grooming stuff and all that other stuff, so I don't really wanna hold it open and like risk dropping it because again, I drop everything. So I'm just gonna talk about it. Um, I have these, you guys have seen these a million, million times. Uh, they're ear wipes for dogs. Well, it says dogs and cats too, but. Um, I have these, which I like to joke as Hope's um, sponge bath <laughs> because they're wipes to keep odor and dirt down. Um, I have these, which are greenies, obviously, duh. Um, and these are for when I do Hope's grooming, and if you want to see a grooming video um you can click back because i've shown that too um and uh this is a dematting comb um because the thing about well whatever <laughs> the thing about golden doodles is that they do tend to get really matted really easily and um this is a tool that you can use to get um, like the knots out of it. So um, you've seen that you've seen that she's been uh, shaved a couple times. It's because the groomer doesn't listen to me and uh, thinks that she's matted or whatever, but it's not the case because um, I do work really hard to demat her and. Uh, 
This is the comb I got off Chewy, but I believe you can get it elsewhere. Um, I believe I saw this at Petco when I was there last week or two weeks ago. Um, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I really, I really shop anywhere. Um, I do local stores and I do online. Um, yes, I know I pay more online, but sometimes it's a matter of convenience and sometimes with my crazy life situation, I need it now versus, um, versus like waiting and you know, whatever else. So yeah. And then, oh, and then, and then, oh, oh I'm going to cover this because it has personal information on it, but this is her, um, the, now this is just for Hope, the other dogs have this too, I don't keep it all together because Hope is more my responsibility versus my my other two dogs, I mean, yes, I take care of all the dogs, but Hope is my responsibility. So these are, hold on, let's do, yeah. These are, wow, that was smarter, Emily, geez. Um, these are Next Guard chewable um, tablets. Chewable tablets, um, kills fleas and ticks. And she gets these once a month. And that way uh, she'll lessen the chance of fleas and ticks. Um, but also, this is a good one for, like, getting into those little places and seeing what's in her hair and stuff like that. And then... Oh, hold on. One more thing. Then... We also have um, Heart Guard, which is for, what does it do? Well, I mean, I know what it does, but like, what's the, oh, administer once a month to prevent heartworm disease and to treat and control assorted, acerated, A-S-C-A-R-I-D, and hookworm infections in dogs. Basically, to keep all the junk out of them, I guess. I don't know, because dogs can get some pretty nasty things. Um, and then, lastly, I just have um, two uh, bigger dental, dental chews. Um, I got these at Petco. Uh, I, got, I first discovered them on Black Friday, and then I picked them up um, again when I went with my cousin shopping, so you can see that. But, um, so basically, these are them, and, uh, what you call it? These are them, and... If I can remember the name, I'll link it down below, or I'll write it in the description. Or if not, you can message me on Instagram, because I'll remember this later. Hold on, I don't know, I'll remember some point. Um, but yeah, that's the grooming drawer. And I like it, because everything has a place, and everything is organized um and then let's get back to the video hey you guys um sorry i got distracted uh with life and stuff and i'm gonna finish the rest of this explanation thing um the next thing or just the, the final couple of things i'm gonna show you um, my computer is down here, um, but I'm not going to get that because it's really heavy and it really, um, 
it really, you know, it really just, it's really heavy. But my favorite two things have to be, um, this notebook that my best friend gave to me. You know who you are. And, uh, oh, I don't want to get emotional again. But, um, this means a lot to me. And I use it every day. And I'm probably going to need a new one before time is up. But that's why we're going to, that's why we're going to use it. And, uh, if we need another one, we get another one. And then, um, this one is a, um, like a, I don't really have much in here, so I don't mind showing this one, but this one is a, a weekly, um, planner and it's got little inspirational quotes in here and it's got the days of the week and then it's got stickers. I'm not much of a sticker person. Like I just don't have time for all that. Just write down what I got to do and get going. Um, but it says a girl, um, should be two things. Who and what she wants. Um, Coco Chanel 2019. Um, and my goal is to actually use this thing because when I was in school uh, during a season of my life, um, I used a planner all the time. And then when I left school and I um, kind of sort of fell into like a... De um, little bit of a depression and stuff like that. I um, didn't really journal or calendar at all because um, it was just like the same thing every day. Like, you know, what was the point? But then, you know, one day I realized I was like, I can do something with that. You know what I mean? And like, I can do good with that, you know? And it's really, really hard to share your story and it's really really hard to put yourself out there because you're you're always going to get judged but at the end of the day what I take comfort in knowing and I'm going to say this I do believe in God and I do believe that there's greater things for us than just here on earth and I'm not ashamed of it, and I'm not going to back down from it. So, that's all I have to say. Um, but yeah, that's basically my little station. And um, I want to, I'm going to take the dogs outside in a little bit. Um... Because I really, re there's this toy out there that I really, 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 really want to get and get cleaned up for my best friend. Um, because it doesn't bring me joy anymore. And I don't have a use for it. But they do. And they'll get so much joy out of it. And that's what I want to see more of in the world. I want to see more joy. I want to see more happiness. I want to see more good rather than just evil. So, thank you for listening to me ramble. Mm -hmm.